What's going on guys? In today's video, we're gonna be making, because I've never made this before, so you're gonna come along with me. We're gonna be making pizza. <laughs> First we need to make the dough, so let's try that. So I found this recipe on Pinterest. <laughs> so this is how, just to make the pizza dough, I figured everything after that should be very common sense stuff. So we're just gonna be focusing on making the dough because I want to make it perfect. So let's see. So the ingredients says two and a half cups of warm water, a half a cup of sugar, three teaspoons instant yeast. So I got it. I bought this organic instant yeast. So hopefully that works half a cup of vegetable oil, six cups of all-purpose flour. I'm gonna be using my gluten-free flour, and then salt. So, this shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> I don't know, let's dive in. <laughs> okay, two and a half cups of warm water, so let's grab. I'm gonna turn my sink on and put it on the hot side <laughs> and wait until it gets warm. So I have a bowl. So it says in a bowl, in the bowl of a stand mixer. I don't have that <laughs> or it's still gonna make this. Combine the water, sugar, and yeast. Allow the mixture to sit for a few minutes until frothy. Then add the vegetable oil. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Two and a half cups of warm water. I'm gonna be using my sugar blend, so I'm gonna do one fourth cup in the warm water. And three teaspoons of the yeast. Watch, there's like not enough. <laughs> Two, there isn't enough. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I got a second pack. One second. So definitely buy two packets of the yeast. I said three tablespoons, right? Yeah. Allow the mixture to sit for a few minutes until the froth, oh, combined. Okay, let's mix it. Oh, look at that. So I'm mixing now. This is what it looks like so far. Those chunks. So we're gonna put this aside, and in another bowl, we'll combine the flour and the salt. So we're gonna add six cups of all purpose flour in another bowl. I don't think this bowl's gonna be big enough. Three. Okay, there's no way. There's absolutely no way. No. What kind of mixing bowls are they using for this recipe? This is like my biggest bowl too. Um, keep going, keep going Jenny. You got this. Five, last one. And six. Holy cannoli. Okay, I don't know what this is supposed to look like. Oh, I'm supposed to add the vegetable oil. I forgot to do the oil. Whoop. Okay, now I'm adding one fourth cup of vegetable oil to my yeast mixture. Oops. And now I'm gonna add two teaspoons of pink Himalayan salt to the flour. Okay, I think I'm going to add the flour gradually to this bowl. Let's see how that works. Wow, who needs a mixer when you have my skills? Oh no, oh god, no. Wow, I'm pretty sure I'm going on the right track here. Please, look at this. I think this is what it sh should look like right now. I have no idea, so. Now I'm going to grease another bowl and then pour it into this bowl and coat it with some olive oil that I have here. 
Okay, I'm gonna cover the dough with plastic wrap. You can also use a towel. And then we're gonna let it sit at room temperature for an hour and hopefully the dough rises. So we'll see what that looks like. <laughs> So stay tuned to see what the dough is gonna be looking like. <laughs> I hope this works. Well, this happened. No! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add flour to a flat surface. So I'm gonna use my cutting board. This is what it looks like. And now I'm gonna put it on flour and roll it out. And yeah, all that good stuff. You know, pizza, normal pizza, dough stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to like look like this at all. I made dough. So this doesn't look too bad now. I had to add a lot more flour as rolling it. It got a lot thicker, so that's, that's a good sign. So this is what it looks like now. Now I'm gonna cut them into three. I'm using uh, corn meal to put on the bottom of the crust so it's and I'm also gonna be adding olive oil to the dough, and then I'm gonna add it to the pan. So this is what the first one looks like. Okay, I'm gonna preheat the oven at 475 degrees. Now I'm going to add my toppings. First I need to cut I'm gonna put a lot of veggies on it basically, so gotta cut those up first. So first I'm gonna add my pizza sauce. I have some dairy-free mozzarella cheese I'm gonna be adding next. So for my veggies, I'm gonna be adding mushrooms, tomatoes, onions, and spinach. Oh, and black olives. Wait. I forgot the banana peppers, one second. Also, I'm gonna be adding a little bit. Uh, I like this because it has basil, rosemary, thyme, oregano, and sage in it, so perfect combo. Wow, so this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I'm so excited. Okay, so this is going to bake for eight to 10 minutes. Um, wow, doesn't it look so good? I am so excited to eat this. So this is the pizza, look how cute. Ah! It look, it smells really good, so taste test. Mmm, mmm. What? I made pizza. This is really good. Mm. Back at it again, making dope recipes. <laughs> so clearly, making pizza is not that difficult. Very easy. I would definitely make this again for sure. So that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. And till next time, peace. Bye.